thank you for being here. Glorious to see you. Now, Mackenzie, I want to talk to you about this. In the last year, you have made what I consider to be huge life decisions. What? You've moved to London. Mm -hmm. You've adopted a dog. I did. How are these working out? They're both working out really well. There was no a regrets? rough period. Well, there was quite a bit of regret for a while. But um, no, I've, I'm like, I'm cusping ecstasy. Like, I'm, I'm in a great There is space. a lot of that in London. <laughs> yeah. Um, Especially where I live. Hang on, but you're saying which? So, with the with the regrets about London or the dog? The regrets were about London. I did everything in um, this sort of like pandemic fugue state where I thought the world was ending, um, and so I moved. I just created as much chaos as possible. Moved to a new city, bought a house, um, started renovations, didn't interview anyone. Was just like, have at it. And um, <laughs> it's been a hellish time, but I'm now on the other side of it, and I feel great, and I have a dog, and I'm very happy. Well, so it's so it's 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 a yes. It's a yes. <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and now, obviously, you're originally from Canada, and Colin, I know that you Canada holds a very special place in your heart. Yes, it does. Ma massive hockey fan, growing up as a as a kid. Well, as okay. A, when I was younger, the LA Kings were the only non-Canadian team in what was called the Smythe Division. Right. And so I went to hockey games all the time, and I absolutely fell in love with the Canadian National Anthem. What do you love about it? I think it's just a beautiful anthem. I, I, I just think it sounds great. It is a Red, good anthem. Give me the thumbs up. It is a good anthem. And, uh, and not only, you know, do I have it memorized, but I can, I can say it in under a minute. No. Yep. Stop. Yep. Go That's on, then. Good. Go. Ready? Go on. You ready? You can do this? OK. Yep. OK, hang on. In under a minute. OK. <clears throat> oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love, and all thy sons command, and with glowing hearts we see thee rise to the true north, strong and free. From far and wide, oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. <laughs> and, and let it be noted, let it be noted, they recently changed the lyrics to the national anthem. They, the, the lyrics was, O oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all thy sons' command. And they recently just changed uh, the sons' command to in all of us' command. I love that. Why? Because Canada is badass. That's yes! <laughs> Correct! That's right. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I thought it was sun, like, in the sky. No. Well, <laughs> we're all learning a lot about Canada tonight. No, and at one and point... And we suddenly understand why you've moved to London. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where there is no sun. Yeah. Yeah, Where there's ever. tradition. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, Mackenzie, when you were in school, you created uh, an online tribute to your acting heroes. Mm -hmm. Will you tell us about this? I did uh, create a website for um, two of the greatest creators of our time. I'm not being facetious, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. Right. I've always been a huge fan of them. I hope never to meet them. Um, Why? Why do you not want to meet them? Uh, first of all, I'm like them on each other's shoulders, so it would be, I, I feel it would be strange. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just sort of like spatially. So okay. Um, and I don't know. I think don't meet your heroes. Like I just think they're so great. I think the clothes they make are so great. I love their straight to video movies growing up. I just think they're wonderful. How the West was fun. Yeah, when in Rome. <laughs> well, we're talking about online tributes. I want to talk to you about this, Colin, because you post a tribute to your father, Tom Hanks, every year on his on his birthday. That is correct. And um, here's one you wrote: Happy birthday, pops. Another trip around the sun and another birthday post for you. And yep. you posted this with a picture of Michael Keaton. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. And then you posted one here like, want to wish a happy 63rd birthday to my dad. He's a good man with a great sense of humor. I love you, Pops. Yep. With a picture of Michael Keaton. That's right. <laughs> so, how did this joke start? <laughs> And so, what does your dad think about this? Because I love it. He loves it yeah. just as much. Uh, he, he told me a story. Uh, you know, I, I'm in the middle of a press junket right now. And when you're, when, when you're on press junkets, you, you sort of get to this delirious state. And it, it's always just sort of you're asked the same questions a lot and all that sort of stuff. And he was telling me a story about when he was starting off, he was doing his first sort of press junkets. And he was doing his first international press junkets. And that's when they, like, 
introduce the the reporter will introduce who they're interviewing, and it'll be in their native language, and that the interview will be in English. And he said pretty much, you know, on a regular basis, once they would get to his credits, they would say, uh, you know, splash, uh, bachelor party, uh, Mr. Mom. They would just always throw in a Michael Keaton movie. Yeah. <laughs> and he would just not correct them. Yeah. He just thought it was hilarious. And I remember that story. And so one, you know, one year I just did it, and I just kept doing it. And, uh, yeah, now it's like a full, full-born truth. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to see which picture comes up next time. Oh, it's it's absolutely brilliant. As is your new show, which we have to congratulate you on, The Offer. Yeah. It's a series oh. about the making of the movie The Godfather. For anyone who doesn't know... He, he, by the way, I think he's got the look. Yeah, oh, no, he's got it. He's yeah, got yeah. the look. The, the, the baloney guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There it is. There it is. So for anyone who doesn't know, tell us about the show and who you play. Uh, I play a character by the name of Barry Lapidus, who uh, uh, is basically the bad guy of, of, of the show. The show is about the making of The Godfather. This is a beloved film, arguably one of the most... Uh, 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 the, the, one of the best films of all time. And uh, it turns out that they had an incredible amount of trouble making the film, dealing with the mafia, <laughs> not wanting the film to get made and, and threatening to do all sorts, of, uh, all sorts of things, as well as, you know, just all of the different miracles that it takes to, to make a movie or make anything sort of creative. And so it's this really interesting look into, uh, you know, the making of, you know, a movie that everyone thinks, oh, well, that must have been a, a blast. It's a perfect film. It, that couldn't have been very hard when it turns out it was incredibly hard. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I am certain I'm going to be gripped by every episode.